help, Dad. What about that message? Dad, can we take an Uber over to Yasloda Mission? Does it have the bell tower? We found it. Chris, Laura. Um, I'm trying to use a compass, but it broke. You can see if the compass needle will float. Do you know what symbol this is? It's an Aztec sunrise. We're going to the sweet dessert. It's desert. bars. How long have we been hunting for these clues? Two weeks? Three? It's been four hours. And I lead our motley band to the trials of success. There have been two puzzles and my dad helped us each time. Hey, I'm an influencer. My followers have to get the feel of what we're going through. You have four followers and one of them is your mom. That's not true. My mom stopped following me. Oh no. <sighs> My phone died. I can't believe I let you talk me into coming along. You asked to come. Yeah, but I didn't think it'd be four hours and my phone would die. How are my followers gonna know I'm gonna be okay? I'm sure they'll live somehow. Hey guys, we need to go this way. But the caves are up this way. The map said so. And the compass has the cave painted on it. There's nothing over there, not even a trail. And I've got to find a place to charge. Adam, it does seem weird. Beth, we know the compass doesn't point north. Maybe the cave drawing got us in the right place, but now we have to trust in the compass. Come on, Beth. Let's, ju let's go up to the cave and see what we find. It makes sense to stick to the trail. Lots of people go there. Whatever secret is in there would have been found already. We don't know that. We can always come back. Dad, come in. Dad, can you hear me? Hey, Adam. I hear you loud and clear. How's it going? Not great. What's going on? Is there something wrong? It's, no, it's just like all my friends are leaving. Why? They think they know the way to go, but... You think there's a different way to go? I know there's another way. You have a choice, Adam. You can do what you know to be right, or you can go with the crowd, even though you know they aren't going the right way. It's hard when everyone else is doing the same thing. It is, but doing what's right is often hard, but it's still right. Thanks, Dad. I love you, son. Love you too, Dad. What's up kids and preteens? How's it going? Thanks so much for joining us online all month. This month of August, we've been talking about one word and that's wisdom. It's our life app, it's our keyword. Wisdom is finding out what you need to do and doing it. It reminds me of our memory verse, which is James chapter one, verse five. It says, if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it'll be given to you. So wisdom is from God. He is the source of all wisdom. When we go to Him, when we go to His Word, when we go to church, we live the life that, he was, that we were created to live, that He has in store for us. We live out His best for our lives and we make the best decisions ever. And hey, so think about wisdom. Is it something that we like just find and then that's it? Is it a one-time thing? Like how many times do we need to search for wisdom? How do we even grow in wisdom? Those are really great questions. And that question reminds me of, hmm.
No, 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 no. Not that flower. A flower pot. Get it? Flower, flower pot. Anyway, that's just the dad jokes coming out. So if we're gonna allow a plant or a flower to grow out of this pot, you need to add things to this pot. You've got the flower pot. You need to add the soil right here. We've got some soil right here. Yes. And you have the flower pot, you have the soil. What do you need to put inside of it? Tell me from your screens, seeds, that's right. We have all of these little seeds inside of here. You have the flower pot, you have the soil, you have the seeds, is that it? We'll have a plant growing out of here in no time. We'll have a flower blooming in no time. No, 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 you need water. You need to pour the water over the soil, over the seeds, all right? And then what do you need? You learned it, you know, in your science class, photosynthesis. You need lights, we're surrounded by lights. It's not natural light, but you get the idea. We need sunlight over the water, over the soil, over the seeds, over the pot to allow a plant in a flower to grow. And you know what? This flower pot is like our minds. If we are going to grow in God and grow in wisdom, we need to get into his word. Look at what the Apostle Paul says in the book of Romans. I don't know if you've been following along with us, North Campus, Plano Campus, Espanol. We've been going through the book of Romans uh, for so many different Sundays. Check it out, it's awesome. Pastor Connor, Pastor Alberto, Pastor Jack Graham, opening up God's word and talking about the book of Romans. Check it out. But we're here, Romans chapter 12. Go grab your Bibles, Romans chapter 12. Pause it if you need to. The verses are on the screen as well. Romans 12, chapter two, it says this. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Say that with me be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And when we do this, what does it say? Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is. What is his will? His good, pleasing, and perfect will. So instead of thinking about the world and filling your minds with that evil and sin and things that are not of God, let's fill it with the truth and the things that are of God. Not the world, but his what? His word, the Holy Scriptures, his word, the Bible, right? And so think about this plant right here. You have the soil, you have the seeds, you have the water, you have the sunlight. If I were to take a bucket of slime and just dump it on here, would it ever grow? It wouldn't. If we filled our minds with uh, this, the things that are of the world, the shows that we watch, the things that we listen to that just teach us that life is about us, that, hey, it's just about getting possessions, it's about getting rich, um, it's about uh, just doing whatever you wanna do instead of what God wants to do. If, if we fill our minds with those things, if we worry, if we fear, instead of trusting in God, if we see that all these people in the world who are not about God are, are getting away with their sin, we might feel like, oh, we can make the same unwise choices too. But just like slime on this pot will not allow the, the plant and the flower to grow, when we fill our minds with God's a word, we will grow. If we fill our minds with the world, we won't grow in wisdom. We won't live the life that he created us to live. And so, hey, if you want to be blooming and growing in wisdom in your relationship with God, you need to continue to seek wisdom. You need to continue to seek God and you'll grow wiser and wiser and wiser. And you'll go closer in your relationship with God like this plant. You'll go from here spiritually to here. Isn't that cool? go from here to here. So how do we grow in our relationships with God? How do we grow in wisdom? Well, hey, it's just four letters. And you know what? You know how you grow? You grow, G-R-O-W. What do you mean by that? Well, hey, G, you go to God in prayer. You pray throughout your day. God, I need wisdom. God, I need strength. God, I need your help. God, help me to make godly friends. God, help me to give me the courage to share my faith. You go to God to prayer in prayer and you pray all throughout your day, okay? So G is go to God in prayer. R is you read the word. God wrote one book and that's the Bible. Let's read it. He knows what's best for us. He created us. He knows us better than we know ourselves. Let's read the one book that he wrote for us. Okay, read the Bible all throughout the day, okay? Pray all throughout the day or, or go to God in prayer, read the Bible, and then O, obey the word of God. 
Don't listen to what other people say about you. Listen to what God says about you, okay? He loves you, He has a plan for you, He has a purpose for you, so do what His Word says. Don't just listen to His Word on Sundays or Wednesdays, uh, at home, um, as you're listening to this online right here, but do what it says. Don't just be a hearer of the Word, but a doer. And then W, witness. Share what God is doing in your life. Share what He's teaching you from His Word. Okay, we go to God in prayer, uh, we read His Word, we obey His Word, and then we witness. We share our faith, what God is doing in and through our lives, what He's teaching us from His Word to encourage those that do know Jesus, but also to share the good news with those that don't know Jesus. So hey, is wisdom a one-time thing? No, we need to seek it day in and day out. Is wisdom something we just find and that's it? No, 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 we go to God all throughout our day to seek wisdom. How do we grow in wisdom? We go to God in prayer. We read His Word, we obey His Word, and then we witness, we testify what His Word is doing in and through our lives to those that know Jesus and those who don't know Jesus. So here's the bottom line, kids and preteens. Here we go, you ready? Drum roll. Shout it out from your screens when you see it, okay? It's five letters, five words right here. Never stop growing in wisdom. Five words, never stop growing in wisdom. Your turn. Exactly. Okay, never stop. Go to God in prayer, read His Word, obey His Word, witness what God is doing in and through your life, and you'll grow in wisdom, and you'll look more like this every single day. You look more like Jesus growing in wisdom. Love you kids, preteens. Can't wait to see you in person on Sunday, on Wednesday. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. yours. But I, my followers need me. I think we should go back and get Adam. Why? Do you think he'd let me use his phone? Let's go. No, he got us this far and then we just left him behind. Beth, we don't need him. Yeah, he was just holding us back. Let's look around. All right, let's look around. other bright ideas? Yeah, we find Adam. Adam, are you okay? So you've just been sitting here? How did you get these? So you just get, gave up the search? Did you follow the compass? Where did it lead you? It led me out to the desert, a couple different directions, but then. You had it all this time? When were you gonna tell us? Right now, I'm telling you, right now. How did you get this? I did have some help. Hey guys, glad yeah. you could join us. <laughs> when did you get here? He's been here all along. Uh, no, I was there, he wasn't. He was right behind us the whole time. What? I think it's cool. What do we do now? I don't know. He solved the clues even before we did. Dad, why didn't you tell us? Well, I wanted to give you guys a chance to figure it out. We did ask him for help a lot. Even when you guys couldn't see me, I was right there with you the entire time. So, what's in the box? I don't know, I couldn't get it, but I'm glad you guys made it. Dad, 